So today is finally the day. I've been waiting for this for two weeks now, okay? I, have, I haven't seen it. I don't think either of us have actually seen it. Uh, I, I just, I don't know what it's gonna look like. I'm just so excited to actually shoot this thing. It's gonna be awesome. So basically, I just wanna say that this video basically summarized is the behind the scenes of what it took to shoot the video. This is gonna show probably the brainstorming process. This is gonna go show the gear that I actually used to shoot the thing. So if you're at all interested in this, I hope this is gonna be a just treasure trove of information for you because I know that when I was starting out on YouTube, a video like this would have been extremely helpful. So I hope that this helps educate you, it helps teaches you, uh, you know, some of the process behind it. So I've been thinking today, I should probably be nervous about this, right? But I'm not, and I'm not sure why. I, I, I hope I figure it out by the end of the day, but it doesn't really make sense to me. I, I mean, I guess I've never been a nervous presenter. You know, like if you go to school and you got this project, you gotta go present it, right? If, whether this is high school, college, whatever, right? I've never felt nervous in those circumstances. And I'm wondering if it's because I think this is one of those circumstances. And I just, I don't know. I don't know why I'm not nervous. And it's kind of bothering me, to be honest. It's an emotion I think I should be feeling, but I'm just not. And I don't, I don't know. I don't know why. Anyway, so I'm gonna head out to his place now. We're gonna shoot the thing and it's gonna be, well, I hope it's gonna be good. You've already probably seen the final results. So lucky you. If you haven't already, you should probably go check it out because it's gonna be amazing. So yeah, let's head out. Let's go. Bye. All right, so I'm here. I've got a lot of stuff to bring in, actually. So I'm probably gonna have to make a couple of trips. Let me uh, let me show you a little bit of what I brought. Hello, Snoo. So that's everything. Uh, slider, backpack, tripod, and some lights. But I'll show you the rest of that later. Okay, so it's later now, and I just want to talk about the specific equipment that I ended up bringing and using on the shoot. So first I want to talk about lighting. Now, lighting I think is the most important part of any production really, because at the end of the day, people who shoot video like me and people who take photos, really all we're doing is capturing light. So if you don't have good light or you don't have any light, there is no end of product. So the two lights that I use are the Aperture F7 and the Aperture M9. I'm using the F7 right now as a key light. I also use it as a key light for the, uh, for the you know, for the video. And I'm using the M9 as a rim light right now. Now, you wouldn't notice these things unless I pointed it out to you like I did just now. The whole point is to make it look super natural and for you to not even think about it, right? It just make it look nice, uh, kind of pop a little bit. That's my job to do that. And it was really difficult to do that on this shoot mainly because the wall was so flat in the back. At least it wasn't painted. This room is actually painted blue and that gives like this really cool color to the, the video, to the photos, that kind of thing, which really sucks. So I can at least say at least the wall was white, right? So the light you're hitting it with is gonna come, bounce back as the same color. So that was good. Next, I wanna talk about the tripod. Basically everything I use in regards to tripods is Manfrotto stuff. It's very expensive but it's super high quality, also kind of heavy. I use the 502 video head, which I really only used for one or two shots and I don't even think they ended up in the final video because I ended up mostly either just keeping it still and not using the video head in motion or I ended up using the slider, which I'll get to in a minute. So the tripod that I ended up using is actually kind of modded in a certain way, and I'll get to that and I'll talk about that in the future because that's its whole that's a whole video right there. I've, I've done at least three or four mods to this thing and it works great, uh, you know, it keeps it still. That's all a good tripod really needs to do is to keep something still. Right, so the slider. I think a lot of people will be interested in the slider simply because it's, I, I think it's literally the cheapest motorized slider you can actually buy. I haven't made a review of it yet, and I really need to because I think a lot of people are gonna be interested in it. It has a lot of problems, but it's also super cheap, and I think for some people it might be a really great option because I think really the only competitor to this specific motorized slider I think is one and a half thousand dollars, I think, and the one that I used is 250 or something like that. So I will definitely be putting out a review for that slider just because I feel like a lot of people could find a lot of use in it like I have. Now, if you did watch the video, you noticed the slider movement isn't perfect. I did my best, it has its limitations, but I think at the end it turned out fine. Obviously I would like something more perfect, but if that perfectness is gonna cost me one and a half thousand dollars, uh, I'll, I think I'll pass. Now, what about microphones? Well, I'm using the same microphone I used 
uh, in the video, we actually used, technically we used three. He has a Blue Yeti that he used for the voiceover, that's why it sounds so different. Uh, I use a wireless lav mic, which is what I'm using right now. As a side note, we have, I, ha I bought this little sticky thing, let me show you this little wireless uh, filmmaker kit that Rode makes and they sell this little accessory pack that's basically like a silicon attachment with double-sided sticky tape on it that you put on your chest that I have right here if you want to yeah so it's right here attached to me so I put this on him and uh, I didn't know he's a hairy guy <laughs> so basically he tore off a part he wasn't supposed to, so one side wasn't sticking correctly, but the side with, that was sticking correctly, he had already attached to his chest, and he couldn't get it off. And I feel really bad about this, because I had no idea, right? Basically, it stuck to his chest, and then he had to get his wife to cut it off with some scissors. I still feel bad about that, but I think it's still pretty funny. So that's something I learned from this shoot that I'm not gonna make that same mistake again, right? Because this whole experience was a learning experience for me. I've never shot something using someone else with help, you know, or mainly shooting someone else. It's always been me with me. So, you know, that's something I learned. That's something I won't do again next time if we do end up doing another video together. So I think that's kind of important to make sure that you know what you did wrong so you can improve it and save time next time. I think that's something that, um, we both didn't really expect is for it to take two days to shoot. Uh, we thought it would only be one and then it might be two or three hours. Totally wrong on that, uh, but we learned. We, we know what we're gonna do next time and it's gonna be a lot quicker. And the third microphone we used was the Rode Video Micro or Micro. Yeah, it's the little small shotgun mic on there that was used towards the end of the video and you can tell because I'm really not pleased with how that turned out, honestly. Uh, using three different microphones, really a bad idea just because they do have different frequency patterns and you can really tell when they switch. I tried to balance them the best I can, but that's just really difficult when you know they're completely different, let alone two, three different microphones. So that's definitely something I'll improve on next time. So let's just quickly go back to his place where I'll explain to you what lens I used to shoot him and why I chose to shoot him with that specific lens. All right, so we finished the skit. Do you think that's safe to say? Yeah. I'm gonna shoot you with the 50 mil, so it's gonna be a little bit tight. What's that? I'm gonna shoot you with the 50 millimeter, so it's gonna be a little bit tight. Okay. So I'm just telling you now because you might do things in the frame that you might think are in the shot that actually aren't. Are you sure you want it? Well, tight is good. Oh, well, no, that, that's for your benefit, because if I use an ultra wide, you're gonna look weird. So I'm trying to make you the prettiest girl on the block, okay? <laughs> okay. Do you know what this is? Ring light? This? Yeah. You think is a ring? You think that's a ring light? Ready? Oh, holy moly. So this is just gonna diffuse some of the sunlight that comes through the, the window. Okay. And you know, I feel like a whole studio in a bag. Yeah. Like that. And this will also give you some bounce back from that light. So uh, for this next bit, you might want to turn down your headphones because this is this is when we both saw it for the first time after he, he unboxed it. Uh, I I just get excited sometimes. That that's all I'm gonna say about this. You've been warned though. Oh my god! Look at it! <laughs> I know it's insane. Oh my god! Do you want to get like uh Dude, I can't eat, I, like... Did you get any like close-ups of the interior? I, I, I'm, we're gonna do that later, we're gonna cut it into it. Okay. Look at it! Look at it! It's crazy. Oh my god! Look at all the RAM, dude! <laughs> Stack. This is the thing that's gonna glow? Oh, this is just the glass? Yeah, the, well, I think once, like this is gonna like, glow like freaking crazy inside, and I think that it'll pop, it'll come through mm -hmm. this stuff. Oh so it's gonna look like super, oh super amazing. I haven't seen like anything like that before. <laughs> I didn't know they can build that. Oh like my God. <laughs> All right. You said it? Hell yeah. The majority of the video is gonna be B-roll, essentially. I'm gonna do these kinds of shots, but then, then I'm probably gonna put it actually in my office and- Right, so we wanna get, we want to get singular glamour shots of it where it's just on its own and then we need stuff of it in its natural habitat essentially. 
So I just want to say before I let you guys go that I think I figured out why at the beginning of the video I didn't feel nervous about this project and I think it's because I have so much experience doing this already that I just felt like adding an extra person wasn't that big of a deal and I think at the end we made something that was really great and met both of our standards. So. I think that's just it. I just think I felt confident that I knew what I was doing and that's why I didn't feel nervous. So I hope that makes sense. I think that makes sense. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this little look behind the scenes on how we made it. Uh, I do wish I did record more stuff on site. That is something I will definitely be improving in the future. And I think that was just because I was so focused on actually making something because this was, you know, we were two people working on this thing. I wanted to make sure it worked and that it ended up looking good. And because of that, I didn't really focus that much on this kind of behind the scenes thing. So I think next time it'll be a lot more casual because we're kind of, we're going to know kind of what we're supposed to do, how things are going to work next time. The quality of these kinds of videos in the future will be a lot better just because we're going to know what we're doing. I hope that makes sense. So yeah, like I said, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. I got to put out those videos. Review videos, man. I gotta do it. That slider. People are gonna use it. <laughs>